I have unintentionally discovered that the 68 Whiskey Program at Fort Sam Houston, Joint Base San Antonio, has been having a significant amount of 68 whiskeys or Army medics cheating in order to pass. And it all came from this stupid memo. Now you're gonna ask, Drill Sergeant, how is a memo regarding a bunch of drill sergeants singing cadences, poking fun at other branches, lead you to discover that for the past two years, medics have been cheating their way through exams, medical exams. And it has gone unchecked, even though civilians in charge of that program know about it. Now you might say I've been sipping grandpa's cough medicine and I need to relax, maybe cast a reel and chill out. And speaking of casting out a couple lines, you might want to check out Fishing Clash. If you need a great way to enjoy the beautiful outdoors even when you can't get to them, download and play Fishing Clash. It's a free mobile game on both iOS and Android that focuses on the travel and adventure of fishing. Fishing Clash takes you to beautiful places all over the world where you can catch amazing and rare fish by using a multitude of rods and different baits. Let's cast out together and see what we catch. Oh, come on, gotta keep that line tension in the center. I can't let it get low, and if it gets too high, I'll break it. Nice! And no fishing simulator would be complete without giving you the equipment that every great fisherman can access. With different locations, tons of different fish, and the ability to compete against other anglers in weekly events. If you use my code ANGRYCOPS and follow these three simple steps, you can get an awesome reward for a total value of $20. A unique avatar, one mythical lure card, 50 luck power-ups, and 30 weight power-ups to help you catch bigger fish. Even with winter coming up, you can still hit the water all across the world by downloading Fishing Clash. Totally free on iOS and Android. But make sure you use code ANGRYCOPS to get that $20 value in upgrades after clicking the link in the description below. We start this story off with me seeing this. A bullshit memo given to a whole bunch of drill sergeants, which seems like they specifically had called an inappropriate cadence while marching trainees throughout the post. Oh no! How inappropriate was it? Well, once I dug down to the bottom of it, it was a cadence that poked fun at other branches of the military from the Army's perspective. The cadence in question was, let me just sing it for you. Re up and join the Navy. They swim in the Navy. They drown in the Navy. Re up, you're crazy. Re up, you're out of your mind. And it goes on like that. Something so inconsequential. And yet, an airman or Navy person, I'm pretty sure it was a Navy person, unconfirmed, made a complaint and said, oh, gee golly gosh, those Army guys are making fun of me. Those Army drill sergeants are super rude and hurt my feelings. And now I'm gonna make a complaint. And I don't want them to sing, re up and join the Navy. They swim in the Navy, they drown in the Navy. And it goes for every branch. And they fly in the Air Force, they crash in the Air Force, etc. Who gives a shit? But these Navy pussies, because that's what you are. Whoever complained about it, you're a fucking pussy. Well, they got, they got the ear of the base commander. The base commander said, hey, listen, you better tell those army drill sergeants that they can't be saying no more things, no more bullshit, and then here we are today with this fucking stupid memo that every fucking company and battalion had to get in the 232 because we sang a cadence. Sing a cadence, poking fun at other branches. What happened to a spirit of core army? Yeah, I think that I'm better than every branch. Because you know what? It makes me work harder than the other branches. If I think that I'm better and I'm held to a higher standard because I'm better, well, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try and maintain that standard and work harder to prove those assholes that I'm better than them. It's called Spirit of Core, I just said it. No, we can't do that. Can't do that, can't sing Yellow Bird no more. So this memo of blatant stupidity, anti-Spirit of Core, anti-motivation, filled with pussy bullshit, from other branches that I guess can't take it. I guess the Air Force and the Navy are a bunch of pussies like we made fun of you for. You proved it by pissing and moaning to daddy. It really hurt my feelings. Disgusting. Well, after I got a hold of a couple drill sergeants, a couple cadre, to talk to them about this 
stupid memo, they divulged something else to me. Something far more egregious. That 68 whiskeys, medics in training for the army, were and have been cheating on their exams. And they were caught. And nothing has been done about them. That seems like a pretty big... Pretty big deal coming from just me trying to figure out some bullshit about this stupid fucking memo. And that's why I had to write some shit down. I had to take some notes. And now I'm going to share those notes with you. Along with photographic proof that this shit happened. Allegedly. Let's break this down Barney style. Give me some graphics. NREMT, the National Registry for Emergency Medical Technicians. Now there's an NREMT test that you have to take in 68 Whiskey School, Medic School, in order to continue with training and be a 68 Whiskey Army Medic. And then go into the line units and practice medicine on all the poor infantrymen and engineers, combat arms, etc. that they can get their hands on. Now not only is the NREMT a big deal in the Army in order to move forward with your medical training, but it is a registry, a national registry, where you can go after 68 Whiskey training to any state and be an EMT right like that. The United States federal government recognizes your training as a 68 Whiskey and having to pass the NREMT and that you can be an EMT in any state. That's a big deal. Especially if some of these 68 whiskeys are in and out or in the guard or reserve, becoming an EMT right off the rip, right outside of training, and they don't know dick because they haven't actually passed their tests. All they did was cheat and then fill in the blank. Allow me to continue. One trainee got caught using a government computer. Come on, you know better than that, you fucking stupid cheater. Using a government computer and having all of the tests and the test answers leading up to the NREMT. Basically saying, here's 20 tests that you gotta know, study, and pass. And then you can take the NREMT. And these cheaters, zero integrity, had the entire test list and answer key right there on his computer and cell phone, like this. Just written up. Hey everybody, here's all your fucking tests and exams. You don't have to study for them. You just gotta look at this cheat sheet and then you're done. Anything outside of this and you're fucked. But hey, at least you'll know questions one through 20 on this exam. Now the next words out of your mouth are gonna be, wow, Drill, he got caught. He probably got an article 15, maybe bounced back and restart training. Nope. Now after drill sergeants ran this up the chain of command and said, hey, listen, there are some issues here. This kid's cheating on all of his fucking tests. How the hell is he gonna do medicine on anybody in the military if he doesn't know dick about medicine? Well, the assistant OIC officer in charge of the school and the civilian in charge pulled all these drill sergeants together and you wanna know what happened next? Oh, you'd expect an Article 15, a negative counseling, making this kid restart. No, 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 no! The civilian in charge of the standards that gets to say yes or no for a student moving forward or getting held back and having to restart. Said, you need to confiscate his personal phone. Now the drill sergeant said, hey, you can't do that. Call CID, call the MPs. That ain't our shit, we're not doing that. Civilian said, just have him delete it. Now what are these drill sergeants gonna do? They have the assistant OIC of this entire medical program and the civilian in charge of all the standards down there telling them to just brush it under the rug. Well, drill sergeants can't do that, can they? Drill sergeants can't let cheaters go. Drill sergeants have a standard that we have to maintain. So the drill sergeants started asking this trainee more questions. I mean, the trainee's already screwed, right? What did they figure out? Well, they figured out that this trainee was on an email chain with 32 other trainees, and they had all shared the text answers with one another. And when asked further, this trainee said that it had been going on for at least three classes before his, and this was less than a year ago. Cycles, classes, classes, cycles, you get it. So I gotta wonder, What's going on, Medco? What's going on, Medical Center of Excellence, which is supposed to be the school that all this shit is being taught in? What happened to excellence? What kind of excellence is allowing trainees to get three, four, five, some over eight and 10 chances and still failing the NREMT and continuing on to 6A whiskey training? What, what, 
Where's the excellence? Where's the excellence in, in calling out a cheater and fixing that old thing instead of just wiping it on the rug? Where's the investigation into that? Now that is an answer that I can't wait to hear. How can you put, knowingly put, a shit ton of people that cheated their way through medical exams who possibly don't know what the fuck they're doing in line units, having infantrymen, engineers, etc. look up to them when they are fucked and say, I fucking need you and I believe in you when this motherfucker don't know shit. Now I know the name of the trainee that got caught. And I know he continued on through training. What I don't know is what happened to the 32 other people on his email list that shared those test answers? What happened for the two classes cycles prior? What, what happened to those? Oh, they're out, they're just gone. What happened after that? It's been almost a year and there have been more and more classes of six day whiskeys sharing these exam results, sharing these test questions. If you know somebody in Medco, you better send them this shit. Boy, if I was there, I sure hope I would know about this if I was in charge. That's a fucking bombshell. I don't know if it's a big deal to you. It's a fucking big deal to me. Almost as big as this. Hey, listen up, weirdos. If you want to support the channel, grab a shirt. Make drill sergeants great again. Bring back corrective action. Other cool stickers and whatnots on the site. It's down below. I'm also doing weird shit on Patreon. All right. See you next time, weirdos. And don't forget to support the channel by downloading Fishing Clash and using code ANGRYCOPS so you can get that $20 value for free.